There we have it. Jake Paul wins against Ben Askren. First round, TKO. We all saw it coming, didn't we? We all saw it coming. Now, if you saw, uh, I released a prediction video for the fight a few days ago now. And I did predict Jake Paul would win. But I didn't think it would be this convincing, I wouldn't lie. The experience of Ben Askren in a ring, in, in an environment with another person who just wants to hurt him. I thought that experience would would help him a lot and would prolong his his time in the ring with Jake. But it just it it was it was a mismatch. It was a complete mismatch. And Jake, I mean, fair play to him. He deserved to win. And you know, I did. I really didn't want him to win, but I was just being honest. And he is the better boxer. And proved that today. He proved it. The annoying thing though is this guy. This match was what a three three a.m. for me. Uh, I'm in the UK and it's 3 a.m. and fight finally came up. It was really like so late on. I was like, and it finished in what under two minutes. Not oh, great, sick. Sat up all night just for that. I even, I even said in, in my prediction before. I said I'm not the right person to ask about this fight. I'm not, you know, the right person to talk about or listen to because like so I'm a casual boxing fan. I watched some of the big boxing fights and that's it. Like Ben Askren before the whole of this came up. I I didn't really know who he was. I'm not into UFC or anything like that so I didn't really know who he was I didn't know how good he was uh, I could see from from uh, from videos and from his training as well he's powering his shots and stuff he's just it's just non-existent really like he's probably he's probably not as bad as me but I'm I'm quite close to him I saw this there's, there's loads of like um, interviews on online and stuff like that and you know what fair play to Jake fair play because you know, he talks. He talks the talk. You know, he talked a lot of shit, and we we all know he always does. Sometimes too much shit, but fair play to him. He talked the talk, and he walked the walk as well. He he finished it. He told us exactly what he said in every single interview. He said first round, first round, first round, and he does it. He he provides. I've seen a lot of people, especially in a lot of the MMA community and boxing community, having to go to the ref like, oh, why did why didn't let him carry on or something like that, but. The guy, the, the guy was struggling to stand on his own two feet. He had to hold on to the rope to support himself. Like the guy, the guy was out of it. Ben had, Ben had absolutely no chance. And you see, you, you could literally see the ref was like pretty much holding Jake back not to go at him. And like he was, Jake was so ready to go again. He was so ready to go again. I think it's, it's, it's a good thing the ref did stop it there because if he would have carried on, I think seconds after the game, the match would have carried on. Then Jake would have just. Done it again, done it yet again, and really nice shot um, to put him down. And prediction before I said I don't think uh, I don't think he's going to knock him out. I don't think he's going to put him on the canvas. I don't think anything any of that's going to happen because this guy's got a chill on him and he can take some punches. And I thought he could. I still thought I still said Jake would have won. I think I said maybe fourth, fifth round he might have won. Later on, he would have won in the end. But it was so easy for him. Like, and that's two times he's done it now. Nate Robinson. And Ben Askren, people really have to put respect on Jake Paul's name at the moment. They really do, especially the boxing MMA community. After this, right now, they have to put a lot of respect on his name, and he's going to come back stronger yet again. Whoever the next one is, whether, whether it is Conor McGregor, whether, whether it is another MMA guy, whether it's uh, he's going an, an actual fighting an actual professional boxer. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Um, much as I don't like him, I was doing it for like the YouTube community and like the social media community in a way. And he done that. He proved it today. I think I think he said it in an interview as well. I think he said some of the, the bookies and some of the bets had had Jake Paul as the underdog. And like, I never would have had Jake Paul as the underdog. Like, as much as I hate him and don't like him, and it's up against a professional, uh, a professional athlete. Um, in MMA and all these martial arts and all this other stuff, so I still never would have had Jake as the underdog, no way. Uh, but they did, and a, a lot of people who would have bet on Jake had won a lot of money, and I wish I did now, but just Ben had, he was trying to, he was trying to outbox Jake, and it's, it's just not going to work. It's just really, it's, that's the wrong road to go down. You should have been clinching as much as, much as possible, just making it really scrappy and, and and really difficult for Jake to get into any sort of rhythm in the fight, but he was trying to box him, he was trying to outbox him, and that, and that was a stupid way to go. That's naive, and yeah, you're this professional athlete who's been who's been who's been fighting for probably longer than he's been alive, but still, yes, that's naive. Like you, you've been in this long enough now to know that you shouldn't do that, and and he's, he had more boxing fights than you. Yes, some of them, you know, there wasn't against great opponents, but he still had more fights than you. He's been in the ring a lot. 
He's been hit. He knows what it's about. He's been training. Uh, he's been sparring against professional boxers. He knows what he's doing, and and he proved it today. And he was a bit naive from from Ben, and you know he he paid the price. And Jake fully deserved to win. So well done, Jake. You're doing really well. And we'll see what happens next. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts of the of the fight and everything in in the comments down below. As always, uh, make sure you like and subscribe for new videos coming up very soon really appreciate you all recently really means a lot and uh yeah thank you all for watching uh it tw also twitter instagram down below make sure you go follow them all that good stuff and yeah hopefully you all stay well stay safe and i'll see you in the she next calls one me day and night. i'm sorry girl you just don't make me feel right i never meant to make you cry you were right just leave me be i'm not gonna put up a fight